in our past that we took a look at opportunity cost the benefits for gone of the next best alternative and what we saw there is that there's a give up for every more of one good you want you have to give up something and in its most basic construct we saw it's what's a linear relationship a line and then we see that in order to get more of good B we have to give up one unit of good A it's a perfectly substitutable one give up one to get one more of something else what we however realize is that in society it doesn't really operate like that at all there is what we call imperfect substitutability and that indeed the give up the opportunity cost is more accurately reflected in a curved frontier like this this is perhaps most famously used many years ago when the German government told the people that they had they could allocate their society's resources how they wish they could allocate it all towards making guns or all towards making butter and I take that to make I mean they could all make manufactured goods or they could have all consumer goods and what we see is that the economy and the people can make an assessment of which combination of goods they want and they could decide to have X amount of this good and Y amount of consumer goods this any point on this frontier represents an efficient utilization of resources it's just a value judgment on where society wishes to operate on that point in reality of course we don't operate on this this is a theoretical construct this is a point that we don't ever really achieve because this would require every single piece of machinery every single human being every single bit of transport infrastructure whatever in the economy to be working 100% of the time which of course it doesn't we have unemployment we have all sorts of underutilized resources so in reality we'd operate somewhere at a point like this so we're actually operating at sort of an A and a B and not actually where we theoretically like to be we could also say there is a point beyond the PPF but we can operate there because given the state of technology and all the resources we have that is impossible now some stage in the future as the economy grows population goes our technology evolves we will be able to operate out there but now that is not possible that's an impossibility so we have to operate within this stage here right so in this case if the economy decides collectively that it wants to increase its amount of consumer goods let's say it wants to operate at this level what does it have to give up in order to get that let's put some numbers on this to make it a little bit more easy to understand let's say you were operating at a stage where you're producing a thousand machinery goods and you're producing here this was a say 2,000 consumer goods now we want to increase our output we want to increase this to 2,500 consumer goods what is that going to cost in order to achieve what we want well we see here that in order to get 500 more consumer goods we've had to give up 200 machinery goods the opportunity cost for 500 more is 200 likewise let's say the economy decides we want to go completely consumer goods we want to go out to 3,000 consumer goods what would we have to get in order to get that an extra 500 blimey we'd have to give up 800 of that that's a huge give up because you can see the gradient of this curve is shifting it's becoming imperfectly substitutable you're not getting a one-for-one up around this level you were but out at this level you were not so this is even though this is considered to be just as efficient it's a different value judgment society has to make see and they in order to make that decision they have to see what they have to give up and many people might conclude that that's not worth giving up but at least the PPF it allows you to do that calculation another thing that you might wish to know is that sometimes technology develops in one sector of the economy more than the other let's say they come up with a brilliant new method of manufacturing steel or something like that and they can make much more equipment out of the same amount of resources as before that would be shown by 
the p p s now looking like this we didn't have to give up any more consumer goods in order to get more manufactured goods that is a just a benefit to society through technologically technological advancement just in one sector the typical exam questions that are given will be something of the along the lines where a student is asked the society is currently operating at point we'll call this point X that's with output of a amount of manufactured goods and B amount of consumer goods and it says it now wants to move to point Y what is the opportunity cost and the answer would be in order to go from point B to C you have to give up A to D okay we've in order to move to from X to Y we do gain B to C but we give up A to D 